Hey guys, so I'm here with the 10 cards from the Simon Says Stamp Comfort and Joy Limited Edition card kit for Christmas. And we're going to go through the 10 cards. Before I do that, I wanted to show you, I did make a wreath out of the stamp set. I did not end up using it because I didn't like the way it turned out. But there it is. It is possible. Okay. I also had a decent amount of pattern paper left. I didn't use any of the tags this time around. And I only used one of the envelopes. And here we go. So card number one. I took a red piece of the card stock, made a card base out of it. I ink blended with Lucky Clover and Evergreen Bow to make the background. And I masked these off. I stamped them all out, masked them off to get the two behind, masked them off to ink blend, and then I heat embossed them. No, I heat embossed them. Sorry, guys. It's hard to remember when you've done 10 of them. And then masked them off, even though they were heat embossed with the gold. Ink blended the background, and then I went back in with my Catherine Pooler inks, the spruce and the peppermint scrub, and used them as uh, watercolor inks with my water brush. And I just used the red and green and switched it up on each of the ornaments. I used the Merry Christmas sentiment from the stamp set, and then I put some red and green Studio Katia, Studio Katia gems on there and use a piece of the ribbon that came in the kit and popped it all up on a piece of fun foam. Nope, fun tape. That's it for card number one. Card two, I wasn't sure if I liked it. I think it turned out okay. I actually used the background. That red background is a piece that I used when I showed you guys the ink blending, the difference in the ink blending between oxides and regular distress when I did the chimneys for the penguin cards. And I cut an oval out of that. Then I used a piece of the pattern paper with the, the craft with the white snowflakes and inked up the edges with vintage photo and tore them up with my little paper thing, paper terror. I don't know what that is. And so it would look older. And then I used a piece of the actual pattern paper and cut out these three trees out of the paper. And I went over the red stars that were on top with some of the red stickles. And this little guy, he came on one of those rectangular cards that came in the pattern paper. So I cut him out, popped him up on some foam tape. And he had a little bow on there already. But it was, I used a piece of... Uh, red and white glitter baker's twine just to make an actual bow instead of just seeing the one on the paper and this little sentiment came along with him let it snow and then i did three dots with the green stickles which kind of flattened out as they dried and this green and white piece of pattern paper i used a black card base i put a little bit of red stickles on the snowman's hat and i went over the snowman and the snowbank with a wink of stella pen and that red oval is popped up on fun foam. This one I did use fun foam on. And that's it for card two. Card three, I took the solid green piece of pattern paper, cut it out with my wonky stitch die. This is on cream colored card base, but I inked up the edges with antique linen and frayed burlap. And then I used a little square of the mistletoe pattern paper with my Lawn Fawn dotted square uh, dies. And then I used some ephemera. Now I cheated a little bit. Some of this ephemera in here, it's all Tim Holtz ephemera. But some of it came from a pack that I bought last year because I wanted some tinier stuff. I used the vellum envelope. I heat embossed in gold some of the snowflakes. And then I ink blended fired brick and candy apple around the envelope and hit it with some water for the distressed look. 
filled it with the ephemera and glued that all down, but the envelope itself is popped up with foam tape. This guy, I went around the edges with my paper tear and then I rolled up one edge. These are all ephemera and then I stamped out that tiny Merry Christmas sentiment in gold embossing powder. And I kind of wish I had done it in the wipes, white super fine ink or, oh my God. I'm just having a rough time tonight, guys. Sorry, I had to do some Christmas shopping earlier. In my white super fine embossing powder because it's kind of hard to read it. I mean, you can read it. You know what it says, but it looks a little blurry. And this is a piece of that same green pattern paper popped up on foam tape. And that's it for card three. I did not put any sentiments on the inside of these cards yet. I wanted to get them all done. Because I knew I had that other card kit to do for you guys. Okay, this one is done on a piece of peppermint basil cardstock as a base. And then I used some just regular green card, card sock I got from Walmart, actually. And it's like a dark evergreen. And that's my mat for the front of the card. And then I have the snowflakes done in the gold embossing powder and a green, metallic green I have from AC Moore. It's called Moxie Metallic Evergreen. And then I cut the sheet of music in half and only used the part that says Joy to the World, inked that up with antique linen and frayed burlap. I find that that gives, at least to me, depending on how dark you go, it gives a more vintage look. I like it better. And I tore up the edges, of course, and I rolled up a couple of the corners. I used the sentiment, Merriest Wishes for Your Christmas. I also did, this piece of paper was white Bristol, and I used antique linen and frayed burlap on that also, and squirted it with some water. This wreath came in the ephemera pack, and I used red stickles on the berries and on the bow. And at first I thought that bow wasn't going to turn out okay, but it turns out cute. And then I filled some of the centers and little dots on the snowflakes with the green and gold stickles. And that's it for card four. Card five kind of feels like it doesn't belong in this set, but I still like it. I went with blue. I have a black card base. It's all popped up because it's a shaker. Now I doubled up my foam tape, guys, and I don't know because the sequins and the confetti sequins flow freely, but maybe it's because I put Christmas snow in there. I don't know if you guys have seen that stuff. I got it at Hobby Lobby, and it doesn't move around as freely. I cut an oval out of the center, well, upper center of the cardstock, and then just glued it to the straight to the base as the background. And then I did a whole bunch of the snowflakes from the kit in silver. And then Cloud Nine by Wow, which is a, like a glittery, rainbow glittery silver. And then I did, I did a couple in uh, holographic just to see how they would turn out, and you can't really see them. And then I did, these two are holographic and these bigger ones are Rainbow Sparkle by Brutus Monroe and you can see those a little bit better. Then I did the Ultra White Super Fine Embossing Powder. I didn't think gold would go well on this one because I wanted to use multiple colors. If I wouldn't have added white and it would have been just silver and gold it might have looked okay but I was sticking with the confetti I put in the center and everything else. So Going with that theme, instead of using the gold glitter tape that came in the kit, I used some of my silver washi tape. And then I used a sentiment from the stamp set, Let It Snow. And I did that in Blueprint Sketch Oxide. That's how I stamped it out. And I went over it with clear embossing powder. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. Popped up on two layers of foam tape. No sentiment on the inside. Card six is more, kind of mostly paper piecing. I used that pretty snowflake paper. And then I used some of the leftover green and white tree paper and I put the gold, uh, gold glitter tape that came in the kit underneath it. And I cut out a circle with my Sizzix scalloped edge circles. I used a sentiment, good tidings of comfort and great joy. I put some gold stickles 
five ad numbers. Sometimes I go for ad, sometimes I go for even. I cut out a little Santa from the paper pack. It wasn't the whole sheet of Santa paper. It was the one with the strips in it. And the same thing with the truck. And then I put, like I did on the other one, circles and little dots in the centers and edges of snowflakes in green and red. And that's it. Oh, and that circle's popped up on foam tape. One, two, three, four, five, six. It would not be a video for me unless I was counting the cards, right guys? All right, this one's one of my favorites. So I used the Nina Desert Storm as the card front and a piece of the green card sack that came in the kit for the base. And I used that background stamp, heated it in gold embossing powder, Heat Emboss Joy of the World in that green metallic embossing powder on vellum. Folded it over and taped it to the back of my card front. And then I used the poinsettias from the ephemera pack, but I cut the leaves and stems off. I glued it on there and tucked it so that a couple of the petals were on the front of the vellum. It just helps to hold it down a little bit more. I put some gold stickles in the center of the poinsettias. At that point, it looked finished, but it didn't. And my fiance said the same thing. He said it looked like it was missing something. But no matter what I tried to add to this card, it just didn't look right. So I was like, well, what if I use the green and red stickles and go in the centers of all the poinsettias? And I'll tell you what, I really love this card. I love the way it turned out. I don't think there's too much on there. I think it's the perfect amount, and it gives a perfect touch to this card. I think it looks really cool. And that's it for card seven. Card eight. Took me a little while. I used another piece of the Nina Desert Storm on the Schoolhouse Red card stock. I heat embossed in the gold that came in the kit all of these, which was the candy cane, the rectangular present, the square present, and then that little thing I figured out was a Christmas tree. And I figured it out because it resembled these guys sort of at first i thought it was a piece of like something you could put in a wreath which you probably still could but so i heat embossed those and then i used my prismacolor pencils and tried my hand at shading each of these and then it looked like there was too much green and red so i added some gold and silver and black to these smaller presents since a lot of the pattern paper had black on it and I like the way it turned out. Some of the candy canes are green and white. Some of them are red and white. And then I used a piece of that solid green pattern paper to heat emboss in white super, super fine embossing powder. Happiest holidays to you and yours. And use some more of that glitter tape that came in the kit. And that's it. The longest part of this card was coloring in those images. Seven, eight card. No, that's wrong. That's got to be wrong. Four, five, six. There we go. Nine. This is card nine. I can't count. What is wrong with me today? This is on a white card base. I use that lovely black and white pattern paper. I love that pa paper. And I honestly, at first, I didn't know what I was going to do with it. And I came up with this idea today. And then I cut out a heart, scalloped heart. See, I used my scalloped eyes. I did keep them. I cut out some of that mistletoe uh, pattern paper. I stamped out Meet Me Under the Mistletoe from the stamp set and then just ink blended it with what was left on my sponge dauber from the last time I used it. And that's in candied apple. And then I heat embossed with Versafine and clear embossing powder, the mistletoe with the bow and used my Zig Real, Real Brush pens to color it in with my water brush and I tried my hand at shading it even though it was super tiny. And the berries came out okay, but like it was another one where I was thinking it was missing something, so I put red stickles on all the berries. And I think it turned out cute. And then I put some black in the background and around the edges so the white wouldn't stand out too much because I had to fussy cut it out so the edges were a little rough. 
And that's it for card nine. And now for the last card, this one's still wet. I just finished it. I used some of that green and white, well, what I think of as snowflake paper on green card base. And then I took a piece of Bristol and cut it down to four, three and three quarters. I think it's just an eighth shy of four inches and an eighth shy of five and a quarter inches. I, I like odd numbers. I'm weird. And then I took that, those pine needle branches, stamped them out doing the best I could to flip some of them upside down because the small one only goes one way and the large one only goes one way. So it was kind of difficult to use. But I made it work. Stamped them off to the side and then I ended up trimming it down so you couldn't see spaces or long stems. And then I stamped out three of the, the three ornaments, colored them in gel pens, combination of sparkle and regular gel pens. Fussy cut them out, even inside the little loops, except for this one, because then it just falls apart with the whole bow and everything. Popped it up on foam tape, and then I cut this Noel out of one of those strips in the pattern paper, and I went over the whole thing with red and green stickles, and I was really nervous about that wreath turned out super cute and that's it that's the 10 cards guys I did this video right away so I could start working on the holiday cheer kit the regular December kit for Simon Says Stamp I hope you guys liked all these cards leave your comments below if there's anything I forgot ask me about it tell me which was your favorite card I sent out all the packages uh, for the giveaway and the cards that people wanted just so you guys know and if you like what you see please subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you hit that notification button so you can get entered in the giveaways there's at least one a month so far and maybe a surprise giveaway closer to Christmas if I can afford to do it so I will see you guys soon bye bye